The present problem simulates the airflow passing over an H-type Darius wind turbine. The simulation is based on a reference paper named Wind Tunnel and Numerical Study of a Small Vertical Axis Wind Turbine, and its results are compared and validated with the results in the article. The geometry of the present project is designed in ANSYS Design Modeler and consists of a computational domain in the shape of a block in which a rotating domain is placed. Also, the geometry of the present project is meshed in ANSYS meshing software and the mesh type used for this geometry is structured. By clicking on the subscribe button, you will be informed about the newest CFD training videos by Mr. CFD. Or if you are watching the training video, click on the Master CFD logo and subscribe. Under the general setup tab, you can see different buttons from scales to units. By clicking on the scale, a new window will appear showing you the dominant extents of your geometry. Also, under the view length unit section, you can see the default geometry units, which is meter in this project. Also, under the scaling section, uh, under the mesh was created in, you can change the settings uh, in order to activate the scaling factors beneath that. For example, your geometry and mesh was is designed in a software which uh, its default unit was millimeters. By activating these scaling factors, you can change this factor to your desired factors in order to set the length to the appropriate unit. In the appeared window, under the Momentum tab, you can see that the Velocity Magnitude section has a value of 5.07 meters per second. After double-clicking on the method, you will see that a new window will appear, showing you the pressure-velocity coupling. Also, you, will, you can see that uh, the spatial discretization methods are shown in this window. Also, you can change this discretization into other formats, like you can change them into First Order Advent, and the other options available for each variable under their combo list. And for the simple pressure velocity coupling, uh, the simple algorithm is kind of an iterative solver which uses a relationship between velocity and pressure correction to enforce mass conservation and to obtain the pressure field. The second report is the drag report. By double clicking on it, in the appeared window you can see drag coefficient report output type is defined again over the blade number one wall zone. At the end of this simulation, the results of the present work are compared and validated with the results obtained by the paper. For this purpose, the diagram in figure 14 was used to show the changes of torque coefficient over time for each rotor blade. Now, if you can remember correctly, when we talked about defining three different reports in the report definition section, the third report was about calculating the moment coefficient over the three different blades of the turbine. And this diagram is plotted using the data obtained by that report. In the appeared window under the contours of section, we select velocity as our desired variable, and then under the surfaces section, we select our previously defined plane. And now in this slide, you can easily see the velocity distribution inside our computational domain when the airflow passes over the blades of our turbine. As can be seen in the pressure contours, due to the constant variation of the position of the blades and therefore their angle of attack, the pressure applied on the blades changes constantly. These constant changes in pressure bring up one of the major challenges of VAWTs, which would be the dynamic stall. Also, due to the changes in pressure, the blades of a VAWT are fatigue prone due to the wide variation in applied forces during each rotation. These challenges can be overcome by the use of modern composite materials and improvement in design, including the use of aerodynamic wingtips that cause the spread of wing connections to have a static load, since the vertically oriented blades can twist and bend during each turn, causing them to break apart. Another prominent factor regarding the rotation of VAWTs is the generation of the tip vertex on the top tip of the blades. Based on the phase angle of each blade, the strength of the tip vertex is different. The strength of the tip vertex is a sign of a lift force applied on each blade. The stronger the tip vertex core, the stronger the lift force applied on the blade. This change in the strength is due to the changing lift developed by the turbine rotor blade as it rotates through different phase angles. 
it should be noted that there is likely to be a small delay between the maximum lift being developed and the maximum strength of the tip vertex occurring. This will simply be to the time required for the flow to respond to the changing lift around the rotor blade. Finally, a summary of different settings and setup that we have used in our project is presented to you in the slide. Obtain the mesh file and also the full training movie by purchasing this product. To benefit from Mr. CFD services, including simulation, consultation, and training, contact our experts via info at mrcfd.com.